Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have my June uh, empties for my candles and wax melts and happy Canada Day to my fellow Canadians. Um, happy Canada Day. Yes, I am one of those Canadians who actually sometimes, not all the time, puts eight at the end of her sentences. So, and to my American friends, um, it's holiday weekend for you also for the July 4th. So I hope you have a safe and wonderful uh, weekend too. And if you're watching from another country, then um, I hope whatever holiday you may be celebrating uh, this summer, it's a uh, uh, happy and safe holiday for you too. So I will get started. Um, these are a couple um, that um, I've been working on. Uh, the one I'm going to finish up this weekend. Uh, this one is uh, O Canada. And actually I've had this, this was poured in 2011, so I've had it for a while. Uh, it's always been a light thrower. Um, it's the scent Macintosh. Um, so it is an Apley scent. Uh, but it's it is light. Um, I usually just burn it in the open area and it, it's very light if I can smell it at all but um, I just kind of got it for the label and I burn it um, uh, every holiday so that's why it's taken kind of a long time to get through um, but the problem with this I, I do um, put an aluminum lid on, on it uh, at all times I have been foiling it uh, but it's still is tunneling on me it tunnels like crazy um, so yeah it's it's not the best candle that way it's light it tunnels um, but yeah I just kind of got it for uh, the for the label and uh, for the holidays so and then um, one that I've been I'm going to use up this weekend um, is the oops I just extinguished the flames uh, anyway, it's the Yankee Candle World Journeys candle, and this is in Canary Island Banana. Uh, basically, this smells like uh, the candy banana nerds. Um, it definitely smells like that. It's uh, certainly not overly authentic, but if you like the smell of banana nerds, you'll like this one. Um, it's been a very good burn. It's the two wick paraffin. Um, when did I... This was poured in 2013. Um, it had a, it has a, actually a fairly strong throw, um, but when it got down to about here, uh, started taking on a slightly smoky kind of smell, and um, I mean not not a bad smell, but um, yeah, I'm just kind of getting tired of this one. Um, so I thought I'm just going to use this up this weekend. Um, but, I, you know, I've always had good luck with the World Journeys candles, and, um, yeah, it's just uh, time to use that one up. And then uh, this is uh, Yankee Candles uh, Bay Breeze. And, um, oh, I didn't show you. I put my little impressed nails on with the little Canadian flag there. Um, I was going to put it on this finger, but I didn't want to give you guys the finger with the Canadian flag, so I put it on this one. And I got my little Canadian little maple leaf on my earrings too so it's supposed to be a a, a block party um, around the corner tonight um, but man we've had one wet summer I don't know how it's been at, in your area but man every we haven't gone more than two days without rain so I'm hoping um, that the um, weather will cooperate for the fireworks tonight but anyway I digress um, this is Bay Breeze uh, probably my favorite ocean type scent it's uh, brisk vigorous um oh, it's, it's just such a good ocean kind of candle um the burn was good uh the throw kind of varied a little bit depending on whether it hit a little oil pocket or not um i'm just trying to think of uh i burned it out here in kind of the open area and um I could make it out at times. Um, it was stronger, obviously, in the room it was burning, but then it kind of tapered off. So it wasn't the strongest um, throw on this, but the scent is just so nice. It's just a perfect ocean um, scent, and I did I did get a backup. Um, 
this was poured in 2015. I think my new one's 2015 too, so um, I'm hoping it'll be a bit stronger. But yeah, in a, in a smaller room, it does uh, fairly well. Uh, but a bigger open area, it's uh, not quite as strong. And uh, this is uh, Bath & Body Works French Lavender. I really like this smell. Um, I, this is the second one I've gone through and I hope they bring it back. Um, if you like that herbal kind of uh, lavender scent, um, this one's really, really nice. Um, it burned well. I think maybe I had to con ball it once about three quarters of the way through and that kind of uh, finished off without any other problems. Uh, but this one was strong. It was, I find lavender scents very soothing. It, it's quite sharp and herbal on cold, but I find that when it's burning, it does soften up. Uh, but I really hope they bring this back. And when it was lighted up, um, it looked like the sun was kind of hitting the lavender fields on the label here, and it looks so pretty. Um, so, yeah, I really like this candle. I hope they bring it back. And I just finished this off last night, Bath & Body Works Lemon Mint Leaf. And I get this every year. I absolutely love this. Uh, I actually had absolutely no problems with the wicks. It burned all the way through with absolutely no problems. It's a very strong candle, a perfect blend of lemon mint. Um, oh, I just, I really like this candle. I do have a couple of backups and I, every year I, I'll continue to purchase this one. It's just so good. And some people say it smells like lemon cleaner um but i don't i don't think so i if if my cleaners smell like that i'd be cleaning all the time it's um this is uh yankee candles ocean side and uh this was kind of, it's sort of like laundry scent um there's a bit of that salty fresh ocean air floating in there too Oh, it's it's a beautiful scent. Uh, this was a little bit light, though. I did have to stick this in a smaller room. Um, it is on the lighter side, um, you know, medium, like maybe a five or six at the most. So, um, but it it really is a, a very beautiful scent. And uh, this is uh, Jasmine Waters, and uh, I finished this up uh, yesterday. It's it's kind of a a blend of uh, rainforest gardenia and bergamot waters. Uh, rainforest gardenia is a little more of a sharp greenery scent, uh, while this is a little bit softer. Um, so it has that nice floral, watery, soft kind of note to it. Um, it was, in a small room, it was strong. In a, a, a bigger open concept area, it was maybe um, Maybe more of like a medium to medium, maybe a medium strong. Just depends on the size of the room. Um, but this was a beautiful scent. Now about, I think about maybe two thirds of the way down, it started getting puny wicks. I did have to cotton ball it a couple of times. Um, but after that, it kind of finished up okay. So um, I really, yeah, I really did like that one. And then... Um, Thirsty. Um, for wax melts, uh, there's a Sensationals Honey Lavender Ice Cream. Now, I think this is the one you can only get in Canada. Um, now, uh, Yankees did have a Honey Lavender Tart, but I really do prefer this one. Uh, this one um, is much stronger on the lavender. Uh, you do get that uh, very sweet honey scent. Um, you, plus you get that sharp, la astringent kind of lavender, but it's a beautiful blend. Um, I don't think ice cream comes into the mix, but um, but it's just a perfect blend. I don't think uh, the honey or the lavender dominates one or the other. They're just a really nice blend. And this one's very strong, uh, very long lasting. Usually when I pop this in the warmer, I don't melt anything else because it's is quite strong and um, I can't find it anymore in our Walmarts uh, but I do have uh, quite a few backups and this is uh, Ambi Essence which I found in Bath 
Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, this is called Beachfront. Uh, now on the front they have a picture of a coconut. Uh, it's not blatantly coconut. It's it's a it's a perfumey kind of coconut. It's really really pretty. Um, this is definitely a spa like candle. It's just soft, uh, a hint of uh, uh, sweet, pretty soft floral. Um, it was actually fairly strong. I, I burned this in my bedroom, and it filled up my bedroom. And it's just soft and spa like. Uh, I really did like that one. It was a beautiful, beautiful scent. And this is Colonial Candle, and this is uh, Morning Dew. Oop. That's oh, stuck. And yeah, this is a floral. It's kind of a, a musky, watery type floral. It was very soft when it was um, melting, so I just uh, kind of kept it in my bedroom. I think it'd get lost in a, a bigger room. Uh, but yeah, it, it did kind of fill up my bedroom, but it was subtle, but you definitely knew it was there. Um, but it was a very pretty scent. And um, this is Colonial Candles, New Orleans. These are the one, ones I got for 40 cents at the Colonial sale. And this one, uh, it's a greenery scent, but there's a slight clony uh, kind of vibe going on there. Uh, it, it it smells like um, it smells like kind of like a greenhouse in a way. It just has that kind of greenery scent. Uh, but there's kind of a, a bright uh, clony kind of um, note in there also. Uh, it was uh, this again I, I melted in my bedroom and um, it was subtle. It wasn't I wouldn't say it was light, but I mean you definitely knew it was there, but it wasn't an in-your-face kind of scent. It just kind of filled up the room and it smelled pretty and um, yeah it was all right. And this is Better Homes and Gardens Exotic Paradise Punch and I I got a couple of these and when I burned the one last year it was really light and I think it's just because I kind of melted in the open area so I stuck it in the powder room and oh yeah, it was strong. I definitely smelled it. Um, yeah, it was it was really quite good. It's just such a, br a bright, sweet, fruity scent. Um, yeah, this was strong and it was long lasting. <laughs> so yeah, last year I must have just kind of burned it in an open area or something. Better Homes and Gardens, warm spring sunshine. And I melted this earlier. I'm trying to remember now. It's it's kind of a watery note in there. Um, it definitely is a floral. Uh, but I, uh, I'm just trying to think if it was strong or not. I don't think it was overly strong. I just stuck it in the powder room, so it it kind of you know filled the powder room and kind of made its way out in the hallway. But it wasn't overly strong. I don't think it was meant to be a really strong in your face kind of scent. But yeah, it's pretty. It's um, it's just a kind of a watery, bright floral. And uh, Valley Shores, um, they're they've come out um, with this again. It disappeared for a year or two, and it's out again in a different label, um, which uh, I got in the states. I haven't seen it in our Walmart here yet, um, but I really do like this one. It's um, it's very original. It's um, it's very heavy. Uh, it's not a light, bright kind of floral. It's um, a very heavy, deep, musky kind of floral. Maybe a slight clony scent, but that kind of disappears when it's melting. It softens up. But this one is strong. This is another one where if you melt it, you might as well forget about melting other things. It kind of takes over. Um, but this one's strong and it's very long lasting. Uh, lasting. I do have a couple with this label and I, uh, when I was in the States, I did pick up a couple more because I really do like this. It's really nice for kind of a, a, kind of a cool summer evening. And then this is Mainstays, uh, which is in our Walmarts here now. Um, this is the uh, doo -doo -doo. 
Soothing Spa, looking right at it, Soothing Spa. These are about half the size of the Sensationals, um, but they're um, cost per ounce. They're a little pricey, so I don't think I'll be going crazy with these ones. This did smell very similar to Bath & Body Works Eucalyptus and Spearmint. So I have been melting this in my bedroom and it is strong. It, it, it does fill up my uh, bedroom. It's not quite um, as strong, as potent as the Bath & Body Works Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Uh, this is a little bit softer and not uh, quite as strong, um, but it is quite long lasting. I think I'm on my third or fourth tea light with it. So, um, you know, it, it's decently strong and it does last a while. So, and then uh, Yankee Tarts. Um, yeah, it's it's been one wet summer here. Um, uh, so I thought I'd better um, try to ration my kind of rainy day tarts because uh, I'll run out pretty quickly the way the weather has been. Uh, so this is Meadow Showers, um, one of my favorite kind of rainy day spring kind of uh, tarts. It has that just soapy, greeny, watery kind of note to it. Um, it's, it's strong. Um, the tarts and the center pieces are quite strong. Um, yeah, it's just uh, a really really lovely one of my favorite uh, Yankees um, there's uh, Yankee Candle strawberry lemon ice um, this one's probably like a medium strong throw it's not um, uh, quite as strong as I would like um, but yeah it's just a perfect blend of strawberries and lemons and it's it really is a lovely scent uh, this is uh, Golden Sands by Yankee uh, this is oh, just a really beautiful spa like kind of beachy scent it's it's perfumey um, but there's a little bit of beach in there um, it's just it's just soft and spa like and uh, um, I, I would definitely repurchase these tarts uh, there it's just a really nice scent um, storm watch I'm burning today because it's supposed to thunderstorm again um, yeah it's just a a classic kind of uh, bright it is clony I, I think it softens up though when it is melting um, but uh, yeah um, yeah I got a ration these two I'll be running out the way the summer is going uh, this is Island Waterfall by Yankee and you know what I can't remember boy I just hit a total blank on this one I can't even smell it that much um, so it couldn't have made a big impact on me because I can't smell it here. I can't remember. I'll have to get back to you on that one. Um, that was earlier in the month and um, I can't remember. And I can't smell it in there anymore. Oh, another Meadow Showers. Uh, <clears throat> I got a couple of bergamot mints, uh, wallflowers from Bath & Body Works. Uh, these are pretty light. Um, I can certainly make them out, um, but they're on the lighter side, but it is a really nice scent. And Wild Sage and Aloe, um, this is pretty light. It's a beautiful scent. I'd really like to try this in the candle, but it's uh, on the lighter side. So, oh, the sun's coming out. I hope it stays like that. Um, so anyway, uh, that's it for my empties. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope... Um, Everyone has a safe and uh, happy um, holiday. And um, so everyone take care and please give your loved ones a hug and kiss. And um, please take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.